Morning. Jules has taken me to Dawlish. Dawlish Warren. Dawlish Warren. He's only just told me. Short term memory's getting worse. It's a wonderful beach. Um, oh, it's up towards Plymouth. Exeter. Just on the edge of Exeter. Yeah, really, really nice beach actually. Um, not looking for a very, not, not expecting a particularly exciting morning as far as skies go. It's very grey. Uh, no better man to embrace, Hashtag embrace the grey. Embrace the grey with there. Uh, um, so yeah, I mean, I mean the water's really, really calm. There's no wind whatsoever. So we've got all these sort of wave breaks that are wandering past and we're just heading off. Is there one in particular we're heading to? I think we'll head to one of these two. So there's one with a marker and there's one yeah. without a marker. All and right. In about 15 minutes the tide will be in and you should get some nice reflections on the, on the sand. Yeah. Yeah, minimalistic. That's it. I think I'm gonna go, for, I've got no idea what's gonna work with this location, but I, I think I'm gonna be looking at an abstract shot because say it is pretty much it's going to be abstract this morning. It's going to be, it's, it's dull, and, dull and gloomy this morning. So we're going to find a spot, get set up. I'm going to crack the coffee open before anything else happens. And we'll see you in a second. <laughs> mm -hmm. What a morning. Unbelievable. The, 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 there is colour in the sky. I better run and grab the camera, actually. I've left it down here. And get out of Julian's way while he was filming. <laughs> um, the, uh, keep an eye on that. The, um, the sky's opened up a little bit. We've actually got a bit of colour in the sky. It's quite, it's quite gorgeous, actually. It's nice, soft, soft muted tones. It's really nice, but just enough, you know, a bit of contrast. Um, I've got the camera. I've taken a few shots. I've had one on the way down to the front of the, uh, to the sea water. Let's get that tide's coming in now. <laughs> um, there's some nice, nice textures in the sand um, as we're walking down. So it's spotted these nice textures. So I thought if I get the camera down low, um, and try and uh, focus on the textures in the foreground, but then have the, uh, the wave break running off to the side. Some nice textures in that pointing off. I was gonna go for qu quite an abstract shot, um, having the wave break at the top right hand corner, and then have it all about the texture in the foreground. But as I put the polarizer on, it's actually made the colors, it wasn't quite like this, but you could start to see the color jump out of the sky. So I changed it a little bit and I've kind of broken the rule by having the wave break in the middle, sand bottom half, sky top half. So it's pretty symmetrical. Um, so yeah, no rule of thirds there. Just wandered down now, a bit closer to the uh, to the edge of the, the, the to the coast now. Um, there's not much mo movement in the water at all, so you can't really do anything with the waves or getting any lines. Um, and there's a lot of clutter that's coming off, like leaves and stuff. That's kind of making it difficult to get a nice, clean-looking image in the foreground. Uh, but it's really nice. I mean, that colour in the background, the, this all this gorgeous green in, in, in this um, wave break is absolutely stunning. So yeah, it's really really nice. So just gonna, um, I was focus stacking at f11 back there um, but this I think I'm probably just going to get away with one shot uh, f11 nice and sharp again about a third into the sh into the scene and then hopefully that'll be nice and sharp all the way through then there'll be enough dynamic range in the little Fuji film to bring back any shadows anyway so I'm just going to meet her for the highlights so expose the histogram to the right um, yeah it'll be really nice hopefully that comes out gorgeous morning This is really nice this morning. The colours come up nice. I've got the, uh, the, the Fujifilm X-H1 low to the ground with the 10 to 24 on there. Um, I'm using the Format High Tech Polarizer just to cut out a little bit of reflection and give it a bit, a bit of a pop in the sky. But I'm having to be careful because I actually want the reflections that the wet sand's causing because the sun's quite harsh now. I'm getting some nice reflections in the foreground. So I've got uh, the Nissi um, ND8 filter on there as well, just to allow me to slow the, fo the, uh, the shutter down to about half a second. I think I'm on about F11 ISO 100 sixth of a second. I'm um, just keeping an eye on the histogram because it is getting bright relatively quickly. So uh, yeah, could easily clip. Um, so exposing to the right as much as I can. It's a single shot. And I'm just literally waiting for the waves to come in. 
so that with half a second I'm getting enough motion just to get a little bit of uh, a little bit of texture, a little bit of detail with the movement in the water in the foreground. It's actually really nice, lovely colours. And Julian's just done a a four minute exposure on his uh, his, <laughs> his kind of wedging his tripod in the sand there, just to make sure it's not going anywhere. I can't <laughs> I can't believe a four minute exposure. He's he's managed to pull it off. <laughs> digging his tripod as far as he can into the sand uh, four minutes with the, t with the wave going over it he's managed to get a sharp image I'm quite surprised <laughs> oh, I'm starving I need a proper coffee and some breakfast I'm going to head off soon Wow, the light's gone really bright now. Absolutely unbelievable over there. You see it's shining, piercing through the cloud just there. And I've chosen now, because it's so bright, to get the super stopper out and do a four minute exposure. So on the other side of the, uh, the, the tide's coming in relatively fast as well, so I'm gonna keep an eye on it. But I thought, just to get a bit, see what the most, there's not really move, any movement in the clouds really. So I don't think I'm gonna be getting any nice, nice textures in the, in the, in the clouds. But hopefully, just simplifying the foreground here, just getting rid of all the waves completely, just having a nice flat horizon, no ripples whatsoever. And yeah, just uh, just minimalist really. Probably make a nice nice black and white. I don't think the, I don't think the clouds lend themselves particularly well for a, a super long exposure. Now they're a bit like blotchy, but uh, yeah, when it's when it's this bright, what else can you do? Four minutes exposure, uh, f8, and uh, just focusing on the on on the uh, the pole as it's now known. <laughs> and, and Julian's trying to perfect his, uh, he's, he's kind of abandoned his tripod out to sea. You're going to lose that. <laughs> Next thing you'll see this tripod collapsing in the, in, with a wave. That's coming in over there. That is coming in. So yeah, just giving that four minutes. Should be nice. ISO, to, uh, ISO is up to 400 now. Put the ISO up to 400 because with, uh, with the super stopper, it really is dark. So yeah, <laughs> should come out nice though. I think it'll be a nice image. Location number two. Julian's taken me to Dawlish. Now Dawlish, where did we go before? Dawlish Warren. Dawlish Warren was where we were before. This is just Dawlish, Dawlish Town. So you've got like a lovely seaside resort over there. It's really nice. And you've got these, again, wave breaks. And I've got, we've wandered down. It's flipping lethally slippy, actually. We've wandered down one of the, it is a wave break, isn't it? The, these. A groin, yeah, a wave break, yeah. It's groin. It's a groin. Groin, I think. Yeah. Groin, apparently, it's called. And it's gorgeous because you've got loads of, you see there, you've got loads of, um, another one of them poles. We're gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna find out what these are called. I'm gonna put that in the description. And, the, um, and it's got this gorgeous moss running up to that pole there. And the, 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 as the water's just coming over there now, I've, tr I've got the super stopper on there again, just to get like a really, really nice sort of abstract minimalist shot. But I think there's quite a nice, a, a nice bit of movement in the water. So I'm gonna, I've got the, um, another filter ready just to chuck on. I might try the ND8. Um, just to see if I can get down to sort of like one second or half a second just to get the movement in the water there as well. If I move that over, you can see what I'm looking at. Um, so yeah, it's really gorgeous. Cool. The electric green though, carpet running up to that post and that's bright red. So I think what, what's gonna be important here is to make sure that I get that pole, that pole there just on the right position in, in, on the horizon. Um, so I might have to bring the camera down just so that I lift that above the horizon a little bit. So I'm gonna try a couple of shots now and see how we get on with that. And then I'm gonna move over and let Julian take a shot because there's not room for two people on this without falling in. <laughs> it's lethally slipping, he's waiting. don't wanna fall in here, mate. It, no, it doesn't. Not, not good for camera <laughs> And he's, uh, he's waiting. Them bright red rocks over there. See that? Yeah, and they, they tend to 
break away and fall away. Oh yeah, the lethal if you hit you on the head. Right, let's get cracking. That was actually quite difficult to photograph. Simple composition. Literally having the path or the, the wave break or the groin, as I've been educated to, to hear, it's called, um, with the lovely green leading out to the sea and having that red, beautiful red, bright red pole. Simple composition, but it was quite difficult to, to work out whether or not the, the, the top of the pole, the, the flag, the basket looking thing on the top, um, needed to be above the horizon, on the horizon, or below the horizon. So I moved the camera up and down. I've do, done a few different uh, sort of compositions to see what's worked best. Got out of the way now, let Julian do, uh, do, take some photographs, show me how it's, how it's actually done. Um, but yeah, it was quite a, different, quite a difficult thing to get right. I thought I had it being bang on the horizon. I thought that looked nice. And then uh, Julian pointed out that perhaps being under would, would work better. So we tried that, and I think he's probably right on this occasion. I think it does look better underneath. So I'll show you both, suit you prefer. Um, and yeah, it'll be interesting to see actually. Um, I've gone for, gone for two exposures, both about f11. Um, I focused at both images, just on the foreground, on the on the on the on the rocks there, um, and then again on the on the post in the background. So just two 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 exposures, polarizer on, um, with the Lee Super Stopper and the um, which what what we have now? We had the the Nissi ND8. I forget which photos I've got sometimes. Nissi ND8 filter just to slow the water down. Try and get about half a second just to get the, mo the movement of the water coming over the uh, over the um, groin. That's what it's called, over the groin. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hopefully it comes out. Anyway, we're going to go have some breakfast in a minute. We're absolutely starved. Uh, so see you in a minute. Right, so we just left that uh, groin. I've never heard that. <laughs> we just left the groin. We're going to go and wander off and get something to eat now. Absolutely starving. Um, and this man, the poor fellow here, actually works for a living as well. So he's got to go to work and do something proper. Um, I'm going to get four and a half hours. Oh no, it feels like half a day on the on the go already. So it's been awesome. Really, really nice to do some landscape photography in a different part of the world. Um, really enjoyed and uh, massive thanks to this man, Julian Baird, for, uh, pleasure, <laughs> for showing me some of these locations and uh, yeah, it's been really awesome. So if, if you uh, haven't subscribed to Julian's channel, I'll put a link just down there. Click this man's face, it'll make his day. Um, tell him Gareth sent you as well, that'd be awesome. And uh, yeah, look forward to seeing you on the next trip. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.